I'm not ready to be vlogging. I'm not ready to be back. And while I'm sad and like going through prob no, like uh, not probably like the toughest time in my life. I just want other people to feel like this is a safe space where they can come and be themselves and like feel shitty and not feel like, you know, you're coming to my channel only watching the highlight reels. It didn't feel right of me to start filming new content without like addressing like how hard of a time I'm having right now. And I don't want to cry, like, like cringe. I know. But I need to be nice to myself and let myself feel how I feel. Um, I don't even like want to say this, but because I feel like every time I say it, it just makes it like more real. But my dad passed away. Which has like honestly been my worst nightmare for the last like seven months. And I'm happy he's no longer in pain. But my worst nightmare came true. And I'm like really struggling to be okay. Um, but I need to like, but I need to try and be okay. And I need to try to like ease into life. Life will never be the same, that goes without saying. And my sister said, I wish the world would just stop for a little bit. And then I said, well then like the world would never move because the sad truth is that people are dying every minute of the day. Um, so I know I'm not alone and I do take a little bit of comfort in that, but not really though, cause it's depressing and I don't want other people to feel this way. But maybe you feel like you're alone in going through a grieving process. And I, I am well aware that this process will not be chiseled down and fit into one 20 minute video. Grieving can take as long as one can imagine it taking. I feel like it's gonna take me like years, which is okay. But I just don't want to look like this all day every day. So I need to get my mental um, health on the right track. Last night, one thing that I did to feel a little bit more normal is paint my nails because quite honestly, I think since finding out that my dad was sick in May of last year, I really haven't painted my nails at all. So I was just like, you know, it would be nice if I look down and I feel like I've kind of like have somewhat together, something together. Does that make any sense? I have no idea. So I painted my nails last night. You know, I found out about my dad. I think it was like right before Memorial Day weekend of last year, 2022. And I can think of some really, really low lows in the last year. Like there were a couple months there that I felt really depressed. I don't know, August and December. I think August was like really terrible for me though. I just had so much anxiety in the past when I've gone through a hard time, like everyone deals differently. And I want to bring that as like a topic of discussion here. So like when I used to go through tough times in life, I wouldn't eat. I'd stop working out. Like I'd kind of just give up all hope on myself. And while I look crazy and I've looked crazy for the last seven days, one thing that I have been doing this entire, not entire time, that's a lie because when I found out about my dad, I really stopped working out and I wasn't eating at all. Like honestly, in the summer, I was really skinny for me. I think in December, I decided that I needed to like work on myself and get fit again. So that's something that I've been doing consistently, like even in the past week since everything with my dad happened, I've worked out every day. I've been eating every day. It gave me a reason to get out of the bed in the morning and it gave me something to look forward to because I don't know when I work out I kind of just like turn off I've just been sleeping a lot and then when I wake up it's really hard to get out of bed so there's gonna be a lot of grieving in all my vlogs going forward because this is just a part of my life and I just try to be upfront and honest with you guys this is something where you know it's important to me because I want people to feel heard and I want this to feel like a safe space for you but honestly this vlogging has been really healing for me it's really hard for me to talk about my feelings, but like when I press play on the camera, I feel like I can just talk about things. This might be hard to watch if you're someone who's grieving or someone who struggles with depression. So if you like light and airy things, I don't suggest um, watching this vlog and that might cause a lot of you to click out. However, you know, I'm gonna try and not be miserable, but I am gonna be honest with my feelings. And the reality is, is that healing is like a roller coaster. One minute I'm fine, the next minute I'm hysterical, the next minute I'm laughing, the next minute I'm crying, the next minute I'm just sleeping because I need to turn my brain off. So like, that's the reality of it. I'm gonna go work out. I'll take you guys with me throughout my weekend and we'll just see how it goes. I'm in my closet. This is something that I did this week while I was just sad. I've just been trying to give myself 
like things to do. I decided to reorganize my closet a bit and I actually framed, I had one picture of my dad and I in my closet, which I'll show you. I just put some photos of him like throughout. This is how I start my mornings. I come in here and I just think it's nice to see pictures of him and like I find it to be really sad but also comforting. Play music that my dad always listened to and like look at photos of him like I don't know I just I find comfort in like remembering I, and I know like sometimes that's hard for people like I feel like a lot of the time you know people pass and they just like no one talks about them anymore because not like anymore but you know what I'm saying because it just like hurts too much but I don't want that to be the case for me I want to talk about my dad all the time um yeah so I again sad but also like makes me happy sad depressing happy um, but I'll show you guys what I did because I have a lot of photos. Oh my god, I look crazy. I look really high. Um, no, just sad. I had these photos of like Mike and I in my closet for a while now. This is from my cousin's wedding. Um, that's a picture of him from college. This was his ID card. That's a Polaroid he took of himself. And then this is a picture that we took when we got engaged in Miami. And I got this little healing tree with my aunt in Montclair. So I put that in here too. And then I just, I don't know, this is like all irrelevant, but this is just like what the shelf looks like now. It looked hella mess before. But I've had this picture of me and my dad in my closet for a really long time now. And this is me and him on the beach. My dad loved the beach. So that's just a picture that I love of him. And I've always been like such a daddy's girl. And I feel like I'm just trying to get his attention in this picture. And then this picture because I mean, how cute is that picture? Such a cute picture, right? And that one makes me cry all the time. And then I have this one, I'm here. Yeah, and then I have photos of Mike and I, and I just tried to make it more, I mean, it's not great, but I really love this little section. I just, I'm struggling with the rest of this. Like, I don't know, I'm not very good at organizing, but this one's so cute, you can't say that it's not cute. And I just, it makes me happy and it makes me smile every day to like, look at said things. I was just about to head in the basement to work out and then I got this edible arrangement delivery from my in-laws, which is so sweet of them. Thank you so much. I love chocolate, the small things in life that make you happy. And Mike loves white chocolate, so he'll be really excited to eat those. I find it really nice. I was having this conversation with my mom today about how she thinks it's weird. Like it's nice and we appreciate it. But she thinks it's weird that like we get flowers and like food and like whatever when people pass. Um, but I don't know, it's really nice. My beautiful friend Katie sent these to me. I love her so much. White roses, my favorite. They're so pretty and they smell so nice. She definitely spoiled me with that, which is so sweet. Look at these flowers. All my in-laws sent me these. Oh my God. And it's just such a pretty, it's so pretty. Like the vase is blue. And I put it here because at night I'll either sit on this end of the couch or this end of the couch. Um, and they smell so nice. It's calming to look at. Like I just, I love flowers. I've always loved flowers and the smell of them it just like I wish you could sniff them through the camera but they really just like zen me out I have to say like the amount of love I have received from so many people has been really nice I've been feeling a little lonely this past year just like in the sense that I mean I have my husband obviously thank god I love him to death um but like going through hard times can sometimes make you feel really isolated and it's just been really nice to like hear from people it's sad. Like I feel very sad, but I also feel extremely loved because I know how much my dad loved me. And it's nice that like, it's nice to feel that love from other people, you know? I love the flowers. I love the cards. I got a beautiful mask card in the mail last night. It's just, it's nice. And it really helps you feel less alone in the whole thing. I really have amazing people in my life and it's times like these when people step up that you know you really see who your real friends are um, and it's nice and you know it kind of makes you forget about all the stupid shit that's happened. You know what I'm saying? Like if maybe you had like some kind of a tiff with someone and like you're still friends with them but then like they reach out and they make the effort like it's nice. Um, so I've been finding comfort in these little things. This is the first time.
time I've put makeup on in like two weeks. If you're interested in the makeup, I did upload it as a short here. So I'll, I'll link it up here. And if it's not up yet, subscribe, ring the bell and you will see that. I just wanted to show you, oh, that lighting is so much better. I just did a really light makeup. I kind of kept it very like peachy tones. I put a little bronzer in my crease put a little peachy blush on and I didn't put any mascara on because I know better and I know that I'm gonna cry. So I don't want any mascara to ruin the rest of my face. And this is just basically like cry proof makeup. And I feel a lot better now that I have a little bit of a face on, but my skin looks really good. I'll show you my outfit. Oh, the lighting in here is just terrible. What about now? I just have this like faux Gucci headband that I got on Amazon a really long time ago. Let me turn off these lights. This is the janky ass contraption I've been filming with. I really need to buy like a proper setup, but I just haven't yet. The lighting in here is terrible, but I'm just wearing this super cute cropped sweater that my sister bought me for Christmas. This belt that my mom gave me. My sister's jeans that are so cute on me. And then these are like my most regretted shoe purchases. These are Stuart Weitzman. I got them on sale, but they were still pretty expensive. First time I wore them, you could probably see the leather ripped and um, they're just really uncomfortable. I think it's because the heel on the back is too skinny. I think that's why. And then I was going to get rid of this bag, but I'm really glad that I didn't because this was the first designer bag I ever bought myself. And it's just like a vibe. I love the studs on the bottom. It's just like badass. This is the outfit. This is the first time I've done my makeup in I think like two or three weeks. So a little rusty, but I'm feeling better than I was before I had my makeup on. And I feel good that I didn't put any mascara on because makeup safety first. But it looks really pretty, right? The skin looks really good. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. And now I think we're gonna go get some Italian food. So let's go. Let me ask you a question. Yes, ma'am. Who brings half a drinking bottle of wine to dinner? Let me ask you a question. What, what does drinking mean? <laughs> <laughs> half drunk? Half drank? How do you say that? Drank. Half drank. This wine is really good though. Half drunk bottle of wine. Half drunk. I was half drunk last night when I drank half right, drunk. Right, you drank half that bottle of wine. <laughs> good morning. This lighting is terrible, but it's a dark day. And I'm leaving the home. I'm going to get my hair done, which this is why my hair looks crazy. Although honestly, my hair looks crazy all the time. Last time I got my hair done was in September. Or was it? It was August. Oh my God. Right before the wedding. And then, you know, a life transpired and here we are. Um, this is how I do my makeup when I'm sad, but also like how I do my makeup when I go and get my hair done because I can't have a lot of makeup up here because they wash your face, they wash your face, they wash your hair. I literally have nine minutes to do this because I can't be late because I'm always late when I go and get my hair done by Samantha and I always feel bad. So um, I just put a little bit of rose spray on. I'm using my Neutrogena SPF. I'm wearing like a modification <laughs> of the outfit I wore to dinner last night, which like last night was the first time I've left my house um, in the last week. Well, not left my house because I've been going to see my mom and we like, you know, had to do things. But it was like the first time that like I left the house to like, go out and eat and it was nice. It felt nice to like get out a little bit and take my mind off of things, um, but then I feel guilty. I don't know. So that's just where I'm at today. I'm gonna let that sunscreen sit for a bit. I have a fan on my desk that I would normally use, but I feel like, you know what, I'll just use it for a second. Give myself a zen moment. I'm gonna use a little bit of eye cream. I kind of just, this is really good, but I really want to just finish it. Claudely energizing and soothing eye cream. Maybe I did finish it because nothing's, oh, I got a little bit. Let's see, can I get this done in six minutes? Probably not. Oh, I have a lot of things to do today. I'm probably gonna grab lunch with my aunt. I need to run an errand. I may um, go see my mom and my brother and my sister for a little bit because I didn't go see them yesterday because I was just like, honestly, very tired. I'm gonna use this Merit Stick and a Sephora 57 brush. I'm picking it up from here. Let's zoom you in a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna take away some of the redness in my face. But like, I literally wanna look like I'm not wearing any makeup at all. But that's it. I'm really not putting anything like up here where they're gonna scrub my hair. My roots are like all the way to here. Like I have two inch roots right now. 
which it's okay because you know life happens and you know clearly life happening is why i didn't get my hair done for the longest time I really want a new cream blush you guys know like i keep saying i want new things because i do because the reality is is like i get bored of things because i use them like well, I haven't used them every day lately, but before I use them pretty often. But like, there's just so much product in the stuff that we buy, which I get because shit is like really expensive, especially beauty, makeup, skincare, all of that is just like inflated just in general, regardless of inflation right now. You like pay a premium for like women's goods. And if you don't know anything about that, do some research, but anyway. It makes sense that you buy this for like 20 bucks and you get, oh, 0.4 ounces. That's not a lot. But honestly, this feels like it's been lasting a lifetime. But I just get bored. When makeup comes in trial sizes, like I live for, did I get that on me? I live for travel size or like trial size beauty. But then again, look at what I'm going to do. Like I'm going to pick this up off of here because I'm not wasting any product because I paid for it. I'm just going for like a really juicy cheek. Very bleak outside and... I feel bleak on the inside and I'm just trying to pretend I'm not so bleak. I'm gonna go back in with my concealer brush and kind of just like lift this a little bit. I brought the blush down a little bit too much and I wanted to do my Gucci brow pencil, but I literally have a minute and I'm not gonna be done in a minute. So I'm gonna use my Merit Brow Gel. My brows are like, I don't even know. Alexa off. Thank you so much. I love my Alexa. I am not a morning person and she keeps me on track. Like she sets my alarm. She tells me the weather. She's like, bitch, your bus is coming. Like get it together. Alexa off. But then she does this thing where after she does my alarm, she then, I'm just using some translucent powder. She then tells me the weather and the humidity because she knows those are the two questions that I ask. I am a sweaty bitch all the time. So I need to know the humidity. And then she plays like music, which I never ask her to play music. So I don't know why she does. I kind of like it, but confused as to how she got programmed to do that. Okay, let me go brush my teeth. I'll be right back. But this is the base of the face. My eyebrows look crazy, but you know, we can't be perfect all the time. I think the last thing I said to you was I was going to brush my teeth and then throw a lip on and I forgot to throw a lip on and I just look very bare face, but my hair looks really good. I love it. She kept it long. I no longer have two inch roots. Very exciting. I'm going to go have some lunch with my aunt. We're going to a sushi place, so I'm really excited, but Mike and I might go to a sushi place later because I've been craving this other sushi place, so I might have sushi twice today, which might not be ideal, but I'm just like really craving it. I'm starving, like so hungry, and I haven't had any water today. I've had like seven cups of coffee though, so probably contributing to my craziness that I'm feeling in my brain. Good morning. Cheers to a brand new day. It's Sunday morning. I woke up. I'm feeling puffy. I'm looking puffy. My eyes are really sore. I don't know if you can see how puffy they are. Mike and I have a lot of things to do today. I think we're going to a coffee shop that opened. I think he wants to do brunch. We need to go to the mall to exchange something. He bought me... Um, a ring for Christmas. It doesn't fit the finger that I want it to be on and with everything that's gone on, I mean there have been several mishaps. I've like gone to the store when they said to come and the store was closed the one time um, and then with my dad just like, you know, I just haven't had time. So we're gonna do that and I think we're gonna go visit my mom for a bit. Did I say we're doing brunch? I don't know. I have about an hour to get ready so we're gonna get ready together. But I wanted to do some skincare. Look at this card that was sent to me by my friend Alexa. I've been friends with her since like first grade. Her and I are cat freaks. We've been, like I said, we've been friends since first grade. I haven't spoken to her since our wedding. I really want to do a better job of that this year. I want to spend more time with people, you know, who I love and care about, who I maybe didn't spend a lot of time with last year just because like, you know, things happen. And I feel like sometimes your focus is need to change and my focus was definitely my family which will always be my main focus but you know what I'm saying. She sent me this super cute card about how she's watching my vlogs and she wanted to so badly to give me a hug and I don't know I've just been getting really nice feedback on my vlogs which makes me feel so good. She misses me and she sent me these two skincare things from this brand that I've never heard of called Volition. She got me the detoxifying mask which she said she loves and we're going to try that in just a few minutes and the turmeric brightening polish which I love turmeric so I'm very excited to try these. I just thought that was so cute. It really made my day and she mentioned that her mom Izzy watches my vlogs all the time which is so cute. Izzy if you're watching this hi thank you so much for supporting me. It means a lot like honestly this card was so sweet. I mean, obviously the products were sweet too, but like, it's just, 
it was so nice of her to think of me and send this to me. Oh, before we hop to it, I did want to mention I've been wearing my hair in a low, loose braid every night. And yesterday when I went to get my hair done, my hairdresser Sam told me that my hair felt so full and so thick. She was like, what have you been doing? Your hair feels thicker. And I told her hair oiling and she had no idea what I was talking about. So hair oiling, I've been doing it for about five or six weeks now. So I'm gonna keep it up. Okay, so I just pulled up the website cause I wanted to read about the skincare brand Volition. It's clean beauty. It is pricey. Thank you, Alexa, for buying me this mask and this skin polish. I'm very excited to use them. And Lord knows I need some radiance in my skin because my skin has seen a lot of emotional days. I just washed my face. I put on my cat ears so you guys know we're doing skincare. Purifying and brightening, hydrating and cooling, need all those things and improves overall skin texture. Let's go ahead and throw this bad boy on. I don't think I have any time to do skincare today, but when a friend of 25 years sends you skincare, I think you make the time. Oh my God, this is so cute. Can you see? Boo. Eco or Echo Tools mask applicator. So y'all know, I don't waste any product. I'm gonna take it from the lid. It's tingling already, but like a nice tingling. This is exciting. I'm just gonna put it all over my face. And I think I'm gonna hyd hydrate it. I'm going, I can't speak today, but what day can I ever speak? I'm going to focus it in the center of my face where I need a little bit of brightness because there's just been a lot of sadness in the center. Oh, I have to put my timer on. How long do I have to use this for? Oh my God, I don't remember. Five to 10 minutes. Alexa, can you put a timer on for seven minutes? Did she hear me? In our bedroom, the door shut. Alexa, can you put a timer on for seven minutes? It's my bitch. We're gonna have to make people pay to watch these vlogs. Okay, so it comes with two sponges, which I didn't realize. I ran what I thought was one sponge under the sink. So these are now damp and I've been wearing this for seven minutes now and I'm just gonna take it off. Oh, that is very satisfying. Wow. Wow, this is like very cool. I'm into this. Oh, I really enjoy this. And I honestly am not like the biggest mask girl, but I feel like I'm gonna use this a lot. I just feel like that gave such a shine and a polish to my face. I mean, I'm a little red, but that's definitely because of the sponge. Oh my God, look at my skin. Love it. Okay, I'm gonna go dampen my face a bit so we can try the face polish. If you could feel my face right now, it feels as smooth as a baby's ass. And now I'm gonna try this, the turmeric brightening polish. Gently massage onto wet skin and leave for two minutes. We have to go in like 20 minutes. I don't know where the last 40 minutes went. I've kind of just been enjoying my mask, which I think is the point. I think like, you know, self care. I'm gonna use this much and I already forgot what I said to use. Gently massage onto wet skin and leave for two minutes. This doesn't smell like much either. Oh, I still have that mask on my face. Ooh. Oh, I think this is gonna make my skin even more exfoliated, which I think this is a little bit too much exfoliation for me. Yeah, so next time I would use a mask and take it off with a sponge. And then on a different day, I would use this to exfoliate my skin just because over exfoliation can be bad. But this is really nice. I'm very excited to have this. I've never owned a face polish. And like these products feel really luxe. Like they feel really expensive. If it sounds like something's overheating, it's because my laptop is like struggling to upload today's video. But oh my God, guys, I really like this polish too. My skin feels like a baby's ass. I'll show you my skin near the light. But like, I don't even know if you can see just like how soft my skin is. Maybe back here. Like, I wish you could feel my skin. I feel like my makeup is gonna glide across my face today, which makes me really excited to put some on with you guys. So excited that my friend sent it to me. So sweet, Alexa, you are the best. I love this. I haven't been this excited about skincare. I don't think in like a really long time, like I can't even remember, maybe since I discovered Kiehl's. However, I'm gonna continue on with my skincare routine and I am really loving this serum. Shiseido, I've talked about this on my social media before. The Ultimune, it has a bunch of antioxidants in it, which I think is gonna be great, especially now that all of the dead skin that was ever on my face is now gone. Thanks to that mask, oh my God, and polish. Guys, my skin looks unreal. This just like went on so smoothly because I literally have no dead skin on my face. Like, I feel like I look two years younger. Sunscreen, not a little bit, a decent amount. I'm putting the Neutrogena 
SPF 31 on. Oh my God, my skin feels so smooth. <gasps> Guys, on my camera, <laughs> it says like portrait and changes settings. It literally just came up right in this corner and said I was an infant. Alexa, you're working miracles. You're working miracles. Honestly, my skin hasn't looked this good in a really long freaking time. And I feel like you all think I'm being dramatic, but I'm not. Let me zoom you in just so you can see the magicness of my skin. Look at my skin. Look at my skin right now. Oh, bitch. Yo. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Cryo Eye Cream. I really like the thought of this applicator, but I just feel like it puts it like everywhere and it makes such a mess. Okay, I think I'm gonna do like the same vibe that I did yesterday, but just using different products just to see what looks better because quite honestly, yesterday I used to say blush here and it looked really terrible by the end of the day. So I'm using my Hourglass Vanish Concealer and my Sephora 57 brush and I'm just gonna pounce this into the skin. What do I wanna use for blush today because my blush yesterday was such a letdown. Let's see how this one, Rose Quartz by OG, comes in this really cool. I like this, but I don't like how big they are. Honestly, they take up a lot of space in your makeup routine, but in your makeup bag, I should say. But I'm gonna pick it up from the tube just cause I'm not one to draw my face. I feel like things are easier to blend when you pick it up with a brush. And I'm just gonna put it on my cheeks and into the crease. Okay, feel good about that. This is like literally a two minute makeup routine because we ain't got time. I still have to get dressed. I'm gonna use my Merit brow gel just because when you don't have time, a brow gel is the way to go. Yesterday when I went to get my hair done, you sit in front of that mirror for like hours and I was like, holy shit. My one brow looked bananas. Like they were so uneven yesterday. They look fine to me now, but I know I'm gonna leave. And I'm gonna say this brow is a lot higher and boxier than the other brow because that's how it always happens. I'm gonna get dressed, I'm gonna brush my teeth and then we'll actually do a lip this time. We'll actually do a lip this time. Okay. I literally have negative two minutes, but I wanted to do a lip. I'm gonna use Thrive Cosmetics. This is in the shade. Gislon? I never use this. Oh, it's pretty color. It's like glides on. A little dangerous, but also great when you're in a pinch and you have no time. Pillow talk, lip collagen, and just throw that there. This is the finished makeup look. Simple, easy, no shadow, no bronzer, literal concealer, blush, lip liner, lip gloss, brow gel, done, dust it. I'll show you guys my outfit. Turtleneck from Express, super old, but I love this color. Gucci belt, these pants, cargo pants from Mango, and then my rag and bone shoes that I had fixed and waterproofed. So this is the outfit, and then I think I'm gonna take my Valentino bag that weighs 35 pounds. Chin chin. Mm. Is it good? Is it sugary? I like that mine has a heart. Try, try. Mm. Wow, mine's delicious. Try we got coffee, which I'm pretty sure I showed you guys. We drove by a house that's not yet built, but we like saw the lot. We didn't really love it so much. My sister just texted me, love you. I text my mom and my sister when I got home because the weather outside is atrocious. And I drive about 35 minutes to 40 minutes to go see my family. And, well, Mike drove tonight, so I can't even say that I drove. But anyway, I digress. We went to the Short Hills Mall. I really didn't spend any money. Mike bought me a really nice bracelet that I would love to wear, not a bracelet, a ring for Christmas that I would love to wear, but it doesn't fit me. And this is the third time that I've gone to, no, this was my second time that I've gone to Cartier to try and get them to remedy said ring. And our sales associate told me that he ordered me, told Mike that he ordered me a size down. We went to the store today, he didn't order jack shit. It will have been a month since I got my ring and I really wanna wear it because to be honest, as materialistic as this may sound, jewelry really makes me happy. And it's like a constant happy for me because I wear jewelry every day. I wear like the same pieces nonstop. I just look down and I feel so happy about it. And so like a ring to look down upon that is a panther ring. I'll show you once I finally get the right size. It would be really cute to look down upon and just like have some kind of happy feels. But I did go to Sephora and I haven't bought something from Sephora in a minute. 
So I wanted to do the littlest idiotiest bit of unboxing, but I bought two things. Both of them are Patrick Ta. I went into the store because I saw a video the other day of this girl. I don't know her name. It was like a suggested video on YouTube. I'll link it down below of her doing her brows and they looked bomb and I really want to try it. Major brow lamination gel. It's just a clear brow gel, but like the bristles looked crazy. And I'm not going to use it today because my brows, my brows are terrible. My brows are going through in a way Awakening this year as my whole soul my whole spirit is <gasps> this is huge so look this is my merit one and this is the new Patrick Ta one I feel like my brows are going to come into their own this year and I'm really excited about it so she said that this is like lamination this looks really disgusting I just got like a ball of the product at the end okay so I don't know if you can see because like I said the lighting is terrible but can you see the bristles on this major sculpt it has cream contour and powder bronzer duo I got medium. I am pale as a ghost. Like, let's be real. Mike called me vampire yesterday. We went to visit his parents and his godmother told me I have a very fail complex, fail. I have a very pale or fair, I'm not quoting her, complexion. And she didn't mean it to be mean. She meant it as like a compliment, but I am pale. A girl is pasty. So usually I would be light, but the light one in this looked so yellow. I ended up getting the medium. I'll put the light on to show you. Really like Patrick Ta's packaging. It's a little bulky, but I like the color. You get a really nice mirror on the inside. Hello, you could see my tripod setup. Cream contour on top, but I love how it has this little like plastic thing. So cream contour, which I need. I ran out of my Hollywood contour stick, so I need to replace her and I'm just, I'm, I'm not about her, so I'm not buying a new one. And then this bronzer looks really good. I feel like that's a good shade for me. So we shall play with this. I don't want to play with this now because I honestly want to do an unboxing video with this so that I can create a shorts out of it. So I don't want to touch it because I want it to look pristine when I present her to the world. So I just wanted to do that little unboxing. I think I'm going to work out 625 on Sunday. I just want to get my mind right for the week. You know, I didn't go to work and I took off of work last week and I'm really not mentally ready to go back to work like at all. But a part of me knows that I will most likely never be ready to go back to work. So I need to get my mind right. I want to work out. I want to sweat a little bit. I also really want to show you guys my skin because holy shit, those masks are amazing. And like I ran out the door today. You saw me. I ran out the door and I didn't powder at all. And like none of the makeup is in any of my creases. There's absolutely no texture on my skin. Yeah, it just looks really good. So let me see. Can I show you? Can you see? I mean, I'll show you with the scary lighting too, but like my skin just looks so radiant. And let me tell you something, this blush that I used today worked so much. But what blush did I use today? Oh, the OG stick looks so much better at the end of the day than this one because yesterday, like this was just like chunky looking, like it was chunky orange patches on my cheeks. And today, not so much. you last night and so I figured I end this vlog today it is Monday morning at 6 50 I woke up a little late but you know what I have so much anxiety about going back to work after not being in work last week I just like don't want people like I I don't know what I want but I don't really want to talk about I don't really want to talk about sad things I'm not ready so but I gotta go because as they say life goes on I'm gonna take my time I'll probably get to work late today because I need to just take care of my mental health first. And self-care is a big part of my mental health. I'm using a reusable cotton round, the alcohol-free toner by Neutrogena, just to take off <clears throat> my nighttime skincare routine because I'm going to have to wash my face after I do the new face. So I just want to tighten my skin so I feel a little good about myself. I was doing the new face like four or five times a week um, and then I fell off. 
because life happened and I just no longer cared anymore, which happens. And I'm using the soft side. I would use the rougher side if I needed to exfoliate, but I feel like I exfoliated the crap out of my skin yesterday. So I don't wanna exfoliate today. I'm gonna give my skin a break. I'm using the OG attachment on my new face. You guys have seen this so many times. Um, I love this though. It really does a good job of like instantly lifting your face. And I really wanna finish this because I'm on the ass end of it. Gel primer from New Face. And I'm gonna put a generous amount on my skin. I packed my makeup to go to work because I do my makeup at work because I take mass transit and I wear a mask just because I don't want COVID, but I also don't want like everyone else's germs. Because if you've taken mass transit before, you're just like surrounded by a bunch of people that you don't know and that just like have no manners and cough in your face and don't cover their mouth. So I do wear a mask on mass transit and I don't want like my skin to be stuck breathing my makeup longer than it has to be. So I'm gonna do an express new face, which in my terms means I'm gonna go over every section three times as opposed to like six, so. And I already lost track. I feel like a lot of tension in my forehead, so I really wanna get my forehead good. And then I'm gonna do holds for two. Can you hear the birds? I can't wait for the spring when I just like wake up in the morning and it's lighter out. I just hear all the birds sing in the morning. It makes me so happy, like so calm. I don't feel calm today though. That bird was helping a little bit. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you'd give it a big thumbs up down below. If you are someone that is suffering from grief, loss, just a bad time, my heart really goes out to you. Um, we can get through this together. You know, I don't want anyone watching my channel to ever feel alone. So if you feel like you need someone to talk to, please, please reach out. If you enjoy my videos, subscribe, click the bell. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. But until next time, I really gotta go because I gotta catch a bus in 25 minutes and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.